here we are. We're here. Let me tell you what, we never slept a wink last night. I know, I'm tired. We were excited like small children. I'm not kidding you. I don't know. Um, we're a little bit tired. <laughs> <laughs> we had to get up at eight o'clock and it was a shock let me tell you um god knows what we're going to look like on the new year's eve flight when we've got to get up at two in the morning and it's gonna be shocking <laughs> i'm not looking forward to that when we booked it it was going at quarter past one in the afternoon and they changed it for some reason and now they've put that flight on at quarter past one back on i know that's ryanair for you never again anyway we've parked up um and we're now going to walk across to Bristol Airport. Uh, it's stopped raining, thankfully. We've got our max because last year it did rain in Tenerife and we had to borrow a brolly. So we thought we'd take max. Lots of pockets in these max. Max. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, so they're stuffed to the brim. I did have a bit of bag anxiety yesterday. Having packed over a month ago, I then thought, oh my God. And there's supposed to be a sizing tool now on the Ryanair app and the EasyJet app. On the EasyJet app, you can find it straight away. I can't find the Ryanair one. Oh, on the Ryanair one, oh, no. no. So I decided to unpack everything and repack it so it didn't look like it was bulging. Um, it, do you get bag anxiety when you you know that is fine, but you still think, oh, you still feel like a criminal, don't you, when you walk through and think, <laughs> is she going to spot us? Is she going to tell us to put our bag in that cage? And then everyone's going to stare at us when we can't get it in. Uh, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we're all calm and we're going to get through that baggage bit with no stress whatsoever. We'll see. Last time, they made me strip virtually and take my shoes off. I mean, what the hell was that all about? Anyway, I think we'd better go. I think we'd better run. We left early because we'd heard that Bristol Airport roadworks were horrific. I mean, why dig up the road at Christmas? Come on, Bristol Council, what's the matter with you? Um, anyway, enough jabber-jabber. Let's go and get in the airport because we've got to go do a little bit of shopping in boots, haven't we? We have. So we'll catch you in a moment. Probably all flustered and stressed. But hey-ho, we're on holiday! Yay! <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. So here we have Bristol Security. Just gone through there. Uh, that was very interesting, as per usual. We're going to walk on now through the duty free um, and see what's going on. We actually bought some perfume yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. We had a little bit of a, a little bit of a splurge on some perfume, and this is where now that we will find it a lot cheaper. Oh, it's only ten pound in Tesco. Yeah. We've got an offer on at the moment. Yeah. Let's have a little scout around here. I'll show you some of the prices. I just can't be bothered to get all my alcohol from here. My alcohol, I don't even drink. Imagine carrying all this. Thirteen pound for a bottle of Bog, uh, Bacardi, one litre. Right, let's go and find our perfume and see if it's cheaper than it was in Superdrug what Mark treated himself to yesterday and we paid for 50 mil in Superdrug 50 quid so it's not much of a saving is it really three pound 40 yeah and I had the new divine perfume which I haven't found yet so we'll go and have a look at that so sometimes you see it just doesn't pay to do duty-free really does it no. I mean I wouldn't want to carry that all around with me so we're here now it's through into what's this bit called the waiting room. Lane. Yes, the waiting room. We're just gonna have a nose on. Now we are quite early and we've just found out that our flight has actually been delayed by half an hour. Isn't that just typical? But it's quite quiet here at the moment. Well, we've done our shopping. We've been to Spoots and Pen. 32 quid. 32 and odds and ends. But that's better than spending 20 quid on Burger King. Mm, it is. So we've bought ourselves a little in-flight meal deal that we will have uh, on the plane. Mm. Pass away a little bit of time. Mark was going to get his Top Gear magazine. Do any of you get that? You make, you buy the Top Gear magazine and you make it last for the entire holiday. <laughs> but they didn't have one. Didn't have one. I think Did. it stopped. I don't know. So he's had to make do with a newspaper, which isn't going to last two minutes, is it? Because it's full of rubbish. But there we are. So um, we've got our little bags full of food. Uh, a few toiletries, um, 
Yeah, airport's fairly quiet. Let me just show you. So it's still pretty quiet here. We've come over in a little corner out of the way just so we can just chillax. How are you feeling so far, Mark? Fine. It was a little bit stressed this morning. I was stressed this morning, thinking, oh, but after two cups will they of let coffee? me see my aftershave through? Will oh. they? When our boarding passes work on our phones, we didn't print them. No, we thought we'd be a bit high tech. Usually we've got loads of paper and it drives you around the twist. So we thought we would do the technology up to date 2023 instead of, you know, pre Dinosaur age. <laughs> and we thought we'd give it, and it worked superb. We had the one phone with the two tickets on. He pressed me through, I went through, then he pressed himself through, if that makes sense at all. Um, what else have we done differently this year? Obviously, we've only got our hand luggage, which hopefully we'll get through. We've got two duty-free bags full of food. Um, we did have another panic last night about whether Mark's aftershave would get through. Uh, and we Googled it, couldn't find that it wouldn't, So, and it did. It's it just did. a glass bottle of uh, one milliam aftershave, 50 mil, and, and it was fine. So apart from me having to strip and take my shoes off, and apparently he said it's because they're new shoes, that sometimes they've still got the chemicals on but that didn't make any sense because it was only one shoe that went red and started flashing and I thought it was going to be arrested yes well, Mark's Took happily ignoring me and carrying on packing the bags yeah but, just carry on uh, so yeah we're okay stress level's not too bad it's piddling down with rain outside we got a bit wet walking across from uh, where we park to the airport uh, it's stopped raining now and the next bit is waiting to board the flight. So we will see you in a second on this Ryanair flight from Bristol to Tenerife. How much did it cost? I can't remember. I'll have to let you have to look at me book. And we will get all the costings for you every time we think it's something you might want to know. How much did this cost? How much are we spending a day? How much was the flight? How much was the apartment? How much is beer? <laughs> That'll be over to him. Or anything else you might want to know, um, we share it with you. We have no secrets, do we? We don't. So um, if it helps you, that's great. Um, we always do everything on a budget, as you know, budget Jude, and uh, we'll share it with you. So we're gonna just chill out and uh, we'll catch you in a minute on the flight to the sun. <laughs> so there she is, there's the plane. Uh, we oh yeah, look, there we are. Oh, I don't know. So we were one of ooh, we were the first ones through on the boarding gate. Now if you have the app, it tells you what boarding gate you are going to about half an hour before it does in the airport. Yeah. So it's much better to get the app. So we're sat here, we're now waiting straight through, no issues. Um, yeah, there we go. Just half an hour delay at the moment. We've got no window. So don't book row 14, otherwise you won't be able to see anything. I always thought it was uh, row 11. So boarding now uh, is 25 to 2. We have just arrived. Now that is our transfer bus, which is, we've got to wait an hour for because the the flight was delayed. Uh, so, what a nightmare. Well, what a hell of a flight that was. Oh, I have dear. never been on such a terrible flight. <laughs> was it Ryanair's fault? Well, first of all, we were delayed. As you know, the baggages are smaller, the, the bags are smaller, but she didn't really pay much attention. She did didn't, she? no. The seats are so small. If you are tall, but we're never going to Ryanair again, are we? No. We've got, well, saying that, we've bought Ryanair for New Year's Eve, but we're going to upgrade the seat to extra leg room because Mark literally had his legs around his neck. And then, oh God, there was nearly a fight. I can't go into too much detail, but let's just say I'm embarrassed to be English. We've never had such a disruptive flight before and I thought there was going to be a fight. But the Ryanair staff did absolutely nothing no, just to let sort it, it out. carry on. And I did say to them that they needed to sort that out. That was really bad. And they said, oh, nobody told us. You, they must have heard it, literally, that the, the, the plane had landed. And uh, yes, I was embarrassed and I apologised and said, look, we're not all like that. It was horrendous. But hey-ho, sadly, 
that's what happens in hospitality and but we're not on it we had a little bit of a to do on was there flying back there was some yeah there was yeah some gobby people on there and guess what they sat in front of us we have it all the time honestly um so yeah it was a bit of a we were a little bit stressed and now we're not going to get to Los Gigantes till about 10 o'clock tonight. The way it's going, yeah. I feel like I'm hanging. Look at the state of me. And um, they haven't sent us any information about this apartment. And I spoke to them yesterday and they said they would send instructions today and nothing. So I don't like that. I like to know what's going on. I have got a phone number for them. them. So we may turn up, there's a reception and it's all hunky-dory but I would like to know. So uh, watch out for the next spot. But here we are, let's take a look. The weather is very nice. Yeah, I'm sorry it's not a lovely beach yet, but that will come and plenty of it. Are you looking forward to your Euro beer? I am. I know, I am actually. I might have one too tonight after that flight. Um, so we're gonna go, we will catch you. Very soon. It'll tomorrow. Be tomorrow from the apartment if we get in it. If we get in it, if not we're sleeping on the beach. Are we? Yeah. I've always wanted to do that. Or we're sleeping in the pub. Oh, you wish! <laughs> so you lot take care. I know it's a bit late to get this up, but it's going up, if we can get it up. If not, it'll be in the morning. So we'll see you very soon. Lots to come till March. God help you. Oh yes, God help you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.